Hello and welcome to the online tutorial for live binders. This will be part one, hopefully of just two videos. Part one will consist of setting up your binder and the other parts will be uh, consisting of setting up and adding to an existing binder. Uh, the first thing you need to do is open up a browser. The good thing about this tutorial is you can go along at your own speed, so uh, pause the video as you need to, but go ahead and open up a new browser or a new tab depending on the uh, the year of uh, Internet Explorer you're using and go to livebinders.com make sure you are typing in plural binders once you reach the site this is what you should see um, let's go back to the main home page here and there is a tab uh, it looks like for a tutorial video I've watched it. it's a minute and a half long um, it's very basic it doesn't go into any kind of detail it just basically gives you the why the live binder site was created and um, if you want to watch that go ahead but I find it's easier to actually if you're going to create one it's easier to actually do one along with someone who's actually done it before okay so let's create your binder in the upper right hand corner click on sign up and fill in the boxes for username um, if you're going to use it for your classroom I would suggest using your school email so I will type in my username and email address and a password that is easily remembered if you want to check the box these are completely up to you whatever preference you have uh, the top box asks you about changes if you want to know about changes that take place they'll email you changes or updates and then the terms of use policy it's a simple privacy policy basically saying you're not going to use the binder for uh, any inappropriate material and then you click sign up. Now you'll notice that I have two errors. Uh, Live Binder site uh, prompts you to this if your username is already used or if your email is already used. Um, I already have an email account and a username under this account which I will show you later. That's why this error popped up. If you uh, are seeing this error, error, maybe you should change your name uh, to something like Jane Doe 1 or John Doe 15. Something unique to you. Uh, just try several different combinations. Something that uh, will eventually work. Now the good thing about live binders is that you don't have to verify your email address. They won't send you any notes saying did you sign up. Um, there will be a welcome note but you don't have to do anything so we can get started right away. I'm going to close out this tab as I said I've already I already have a login um, under Greg Walker so this is just for training purposes. So I'll close this tab and go to my site that I actually have created for this training. Once you do get your binder started. This is what you should see. They give you a uh, a how-to guide, if you will, on what your binder looks like or what your binder will look like. And this is a good tutorial as well for you to view uh, at your leisure. And it just gives you a bunch of uh, information on how to use your binder. Well, let's go back to the main page. And the first thing we want to do is use this bookmark tool. So click on the bookmark tool and you can read all that but very simply if you scroll down and see steps one, two, and three we want to add this live binder tool to your favorites page. So hover over it, right click on live binder it, add to favorites. And you want to save it under my favorites or somewhere wherever you will remember it and you click add. Once you do that if you're uh, if you're a fan of Pinterest or if you're familiar with Pinterest this is a pinning tool and you can see that my live binder it is saved in my favorites over here anytime you go to a website if you find that, that website is helpful or useful for your students or applicable to your class you click on live binder we will do that later on but that is all you need to do for live binder and let's go back to my binders now we want to start a blank binder and this is the overall purpose for this tutorial. Click on start a blank binder, name it anything you want to. I will name mine training video. Uh, description professional development. Tags are keywords that will allow your binder to be found more easily. Um, if you're doing a chemistry lab, you might type in chemistry, comma, lab, 
maybe your last name, anything that's going to make it easier for your students to find your binder. Categories education for me. The two radio buttons, public and private, I strongly encourage you to uh, click on the private button until you are ready for your students to see your binder. So as you're setting it up, keep it private. Once it's ready to be viewed, make it public. I like Google as a search engine, but I don't want Google adding sites randomly. I want to be able to tell what sites I want added to my binder. So I'm going to click no there and then create new binder. And this is your blank binder inside the page. And so that is the end of tutorial one. We will the next tutorial we'll get into adding tabs, adding sub tabs, and basically setting up a binder for your students to be able to access at any time.